do you think that an official, a low official, who is tasked with doing the DNA collection is not going to be amenable to a bribe to split that sample and sell some of it to an insurance company? That's the first thing. The second thing is that that data in the hands of an insurance company is invaluable because they'll be able to decide who in the, in the country is going to be at high risk of getting a bowel carcinoma, breast carcinoma, diabetes. They'll be able to manipulate your premium so that the whole idea of insurance, which was to spread the risk, is going to be completely nullified. So there are downsides to it, and there are upsides to it. The upside, of course, is that it's a nice thing to have if you want to catch people. But do you only keep the criminals? So, so in other words, do you go around and fingerprint the whole population, or do you just fingerprint those people who are being convicted of a crime?